Hi, I'm Dr. Uday Sabarwal. In this video, we will be discussing about a figure of eight suture. We will first practice a figure of eight suture, this suture model, and then we will try to cover it in a similar manner on a post extraction socket demo model. So it's a distinct suture which allows you to achieve great approximation of the tissue um, using a series of two simple interrupted sutures. So basically your needle passes from the buccal to the lingual or palatal direction and then you move the needle back without engaging any papillae and um, move it again in a buccal to lingual direction as you can see here. The knot itself forms a X or eight number figure and hence it's you know similar to the number eight so it's known as a figure of eight suture so once we've closed or tied this suture we can see the approximation that we get and once we've cut the knot you can see what the suture looks like in a figure of eight and why the name is figure of eight sutures now we'll see the same on post extraction model. So here we are moving in a maxillary model from the buccal to the palatal direction. And we are taking the needle back to engage the buccal to palatal in a simple interrupted manner, basically doing it twice. In dentistry, this suture is particularly helpful for closing extraction sockets and particularly after the removal of molars, it achieves good wound edge approximation and it helps to control the bleeding postoperatively as well as reduces the occurrence of complications like dry socket. And if done properly, it can allow us to achieve good tension distribution across the wound. So as you can see here, the precision of the figure of eight suture for the post extraction socket and you can understand why it will help in controlling the bleeding post operatively. The X shaped structure or the structure resembling the figure eight is also seen here. So with this we conclude our video on figure of eight sutures. To watch any of our previous videos please click on the playlist link given here and to watch any of our next videos please follow the links given here. Thank you.